Ken Wilber's integral aqual all quadrants all levels theory offers a comprehensive framework for understanding human consciousness and experience, while personality types provide valuable insights into personal relationships and development. By integrating the two, we can gain a more nuanced understanding of ourselves and our partners, leading to healthier, happier and more fulfilling relationships. Quick review of the fundamentals of Aqual theory before we dive in. Integral Aqual is a holistic framework developed by Ken Wilbur that suggests that human experience can be understood from multiple perspectives, encapsulating by four key dimensions or quadrants. The individual interior I, the individual exterior IT, the collective interior WE and the collective exterior ITS. For a very brief overview of what the quadrants include, the individual interior quadrant focuses on the subjective experience of an individual, including their thoughts, emotions, beliefs and values. The individual exterior it quadrant pertains to the objective observable aspects of an individual, such as their behaviors, actions and physiological functions. The collective interior we quadrant is where we explore shared cultural norms, worldviews and group consciousness, addressing the cultural and societal context that influence individuals. And finally, the collective exterior its. This quadrant involves examining the physical systems and structures that surround individuals, such as institutions, technology and the environment. Each quadrant also contains lines, levels, stages and states. Lines of development can be horizontal, which means an increase in skill, or vertical for qualitative uh, transformations, and include the self, emotional and relational aspects, among others. Stages range from egocentric, so self-focused, to ethnocentric, like focused on your own culture, to world-centric and further beyond. States, on the other hand, describe a more short-term form of awareness. For example, someone might be dreaming or awake or experiencing an emotional state. A common criticism of personality types viewed through the Myers-Briggs questionnaire or MBTI is that they are often perceived to put people in a box. This is not how I use type in my work or indeed in my own life. And this is not how Wilbur uses type in his model either. A type pattern explains the predisposition or preference to use your brain in a certain way. Paraphrasing Dr. Linda Behrens' example, much like you won't get a pine tree from an acorn, you also won't get an ISTJ out of an ENFP. Consequently, each type will have different needs in and interpretations of each quadrant. Types provide insights into how individuals perceive the world, make decisions, interact with others, and how they develop over time. For example, in the individual interior quadrant, we can explore how an individual's type influences their thoughts, emotions, beliefs, and values. Introverted individuals, for example, will have a more nuanced internal world compared to extroverted individuals. And those with a thinking preference will approach relationships more logically than those with a feeling preference questions for you. Reflect on your own personality type and how it shapes your internal experience. What bothers you about other people's behaviors? What's the most important thing about intimate relationships? Encourage your partner, if they haven't already, to take a personality assessment and then share the results to enhance your mutual understanding. The individual exterior quadrant relates to how an individual's behaviors and actions manifest in the external world. Your personality type significantly influences communication styles, conflict resolution approaches and relationship dynamics. So questions for you. Recognize how your type preference influences how you interact with your partner. For example, do you listen more than you speak? Do they have to earn your trust or do they have to lose your trust? How often do you offer friendly critiques and are they received as such? Knowing your type may be different from your partner's, practice speaking their language and bridging those gaps. Within the collective interior quadrant, we can explore how types interact with societal values, norms and cultural contexts. Different cultures may emphasize certain expectations or behaviors which can impact relationships questions for you. Consider how cultural and societal expectations intersect with your and your partner's personality types. These might include questions about gender roles and relationship structures. For example, if you enter into a marriage with a stabilizer or SJ type, they may want to carry forward certain family traditions, whereas an improviser or an SP type might prefer playing things by ear and being a lot more unconventional. 
engage in open discussions about how these factors influence your relationship dynamics and shared values. The collective exterior quadrant addresses how external factors like social support, institutions and environmental conditions intersect with personality types. For instance, an individual's personality may influence their career choice or their interactions with extended family members. Questions for you? Evaluate how your and your partner's personality type interacts with external support structures and conditions. These might include institutional stigma and biases from family members against non-heterosexual and or non-monogamous relationship structures. Collaboratively address any external challenges or opportunities that arise due to these circumstances. For example, if you decide to try a non-monogamous structure, your needs will differ in part based on your personality type preferences. And forgive the plug, but gentle reminder that you don't have to figure all of that out by yourself. Please reach out if you'd like to talk it over. Incorporating personality development stages into the AQUAL framework allows us to consider how individuals' personalities evolve and mature over time. Just as there are developmental stages in consciousness, there are also stages of personality growth. Reminders for you. Recognize that you evolve as individuals and that your type will develop, especially during midlife, but also during other moments of transitions like menopause, empty nest or career changes. Be open to supporting each other's personal growth journeys and be prepared for shifts. Achieving a balance among the four quadrants or even among your type's four most prominent cognitive functions may not be possible. Most likely things will swing back and forth between two or three and then go around in circles at times. Having said that, being aware of all the different pieces that make up your human experience puzzle is the first step questions for you. When things feel out of balance, pause and think about these models. It's also good practice to check in periodically and consider how your types are showing up across the quadrants. For example, with the winter holidays around the corner, you might consider what your and your partner's types need to feel authentic and competent when it comes to dealing with your respective families in the collective exterior, its quadrant. So prioritize open communication and empathy when dealing with quadrant imbalances. Remember your partners aren't trying to tick you off on purpose, it's just the way their brains are wired and your brains are wired differently. To stay open and flexible to your and your partner's growth, embrace a growth mindset, recognizing that your types are not fixed and that they will develop over time. Continuously communicate and adapt to the changing dynamics of your relationship. It is not okay to use your type preferences as an excuse. That would be putting yourself into a box. All types can do all things and all types can have successful relationships with all other types. Some just might need a little more effort in bridging those differences. To sum up, when we integrate personality types into the framework of Ken Wilber's integral aqual theory, we gain a deeper and more nuanced understanding of all the different pieces that make up our experiences in intimate personal relationships. As always, if you'd like to talk through what this might look like for you in your specific situation, do let me know. And if you'd like this video, then you're going to like this next one as well.